We live, baby. All right, what's going on, y'all? It's another episode of What's the Word. We got a special, special, special episode of What's the Word. We here live in Chicago at DTL. We on location. We on location. This is raw. We outside. Outside, big outside. Okay. And, and big before outside. you know, what I'm saying y'all know me, y'all know I ain't special. I'm Cody, man. I'm here with the uh, 290 Queen Bree specific. I'm special. Um, but this next guest, man, Bree, we gotta, we gotta, I don't know, we gotta do a drum roll. A we, gotta do, we got a legend okay. in with uh-oh, us, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. When you talk about Chicago, when you talk about culture, when you talk about fashion, when you talk about you. sneakers, you gotta mention Dave Jeff. What's up? What's How up? Are we got you? Dave Jeff on the show with us today. Man, I say Chicago in the house makes some noise. Okay, we said <laughs> make some noise, Chicago. On, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to do that. We're going to do dry, that one more time. You, gonna, you, want me to do, you want me to do a part? You want me to do it? In Chicago, in the house, let me hear you say yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, they trying to take a little, little drive, man. They're a little yeah, that's drive. Mike. That's because Mike over there is light skinned right now. He be being light skinned. You know? He being real light skinned. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to them Mike Streets, man. Yes, sir. They're holding it down. Yes. Thank you to DTLR, DTLR Radio. Yeah. DTLR 87 and Dan Ryan, y'all really be like treating us well. Y'all love us. Yeah, and we love was, y'all. Last time I was here, they, they they treated us well, had us floating around here. <laughs> yeah. All good. Yeah. We floating again. Y'all see they built this stage for us. We looking yeah, good. This is, this is white leather, bro. White chairs. Right. Can't get no uh Charlie Murphy on this. Don't do that. <laughs> we gonna act like that. <laughs> Can't act like that on here. Oh, We're not gonna mess with home. PTLI. Nice leather couches. Okay. Right. I'm from out west. We still got plastic on our sofas. Oh wow. All right. But let's get into a little bit of why we're here today, right? All right. So today we're kicking off a series of events with Air Max and Nike and DTLR. Um, we these amazing sneakers right here in front of us, and we'll be dropping next week, right? Yeah. Three twenty-six. Three twenty-six. Day, right? Air Max Day. You know, I've always wanted to be a part of MX Day. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to be a part of it. This is like a dream come true right now. And, and, and here we are. And I'm, I'm with it with the family, with DTLI, and homie Dave Jeff. This is crazy. Man, crazy. thanks, man. I'm honored to be here, too, man. All right. So, we're going to bring our first guest of the night. Okay. This guy here is a social media legend right now. He's going crazy on the, he going crazy on socials right now. Yep. Everybody give a round of applause for Dre the Shoe Guy. Dre the Shoe Guy. Dre. Give it up, give it up. Dre, how you feeling, brother? I'm good, my boy. Why you come on? Like, you ain't gonna show no love. Like, what's up, man? I know, that, you know, I wasn't like expecting to be this big, but you know, I'm here now. So. <laughs> what's, you, what's the word in DTLI? It's gonna be big, brother. I know, for sure. I'm ready now, so. All right, so Dre, man, for the people that don't know about you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Dre the Shoe God. I'm from Chicago, over east to be exact. Over east. Uh, some people call me the sneaker nerd, teacher. The shoe restore, all of above, you know what I mean? So nice. when it comes to shoes, I pretty much do everything. So, so AKA, AKA, AKA. Okay. Yeah, pretty right. much. Right. right. Okay. I was excited to meet you because I have a ton. I think I was just telling one of the interns, I have a ton of shoes that need restoration. I know. I'm the guy to call. I've been doing this for 12 years. So. I feel like the universe put us together today. I know, for sure. It's time. I ain't that far <laughs> either. So. <laughs> so, how did you get in the game, bro? Just like as far as collecting shoes, or just like fixing shoes, or just shoes in general. Let's start. With, let's start with the uh, yo collecting shoes. Let's start with that journey. Collecting. I mean, I started around like 2006. I was like 12, 13 years old, and my family like they real big on ball. Like we be we real sports heads. So I feel like shoes in sports coexist because they the first to get the access to everything exactly so when you in love with sports you like oh man what kobe got on today what brian got on today what t-mac got on today and me loving both it was like i gotta have the shoes i'm pretty sure that's how a lot of people came into the shoe game now today it's kind of distance it's more like trendy or celebrity these days but for sports and collecting it coexists with each other so Okay. You see what he got on his feet, Carl. You see what he got on his feet. I got the Bron, South Beach. South uh, Beach. Was a very sought out the shoe in the 2010s. Very sought out the joints don't exist. So, let's look. I want want to go into that part of the game, right? Because you just said it was trendy. All right. So, I know when I was coming up, 
we had like the whole raffle and standing in line at 8 a.m. like you waiting on at the aid office. Like that wasn't a thing for sneakers. Like I used to be able to go get my sneakers early if I paid the extra little uh, twenty five dollars or fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I was doing the same thing, yeah. but when it got kind of ugly, it's certain shoes that kind of caused that, but it also was a good thing because everything was when it was getting all the hype. Like certain shoes, like these and. The Galaxy phone posits, Bread 11s, Concords, the, really the main shoe, it needed to be a raffle because it was chaos. So um, it was safe for everybody to do it that way, if you know what I mean. So Yeah, but I, I, I'll go back even way before that, probably like just what you had to, I'm not going to say pre-internet, pre, pre-social media heavy. That's how far I go back in the sneaker game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To where if you wanted a certain shoe, kind of had to travel to go get the certain shoe like out of town out of state you know what i'm saying that type of thing like that but yes the raffle thing kit did kind of put it back in order it gave it some order i'll say that it gave it and some to, control. to your point right yeah. safer right yeah. i think one of the i'm gonna just highlight this real quick because they part of the part of the reason why we here all the shoes that you named that you say that started that for like that phenomenon yeah. was under the nike brand I mean, so Nike. Nike. So Nike is responsible for the culture, huh? The culture they always stuff. been responsible. I'm not yeah, gonna say sure. always, but yeah. they definitely a big part. Like you gotta give the shout out to the other brands too, but Nike is definitely big. Like yeah, they, they, they dropped the biggest releases of the year. Everybody looks forward to what Nike's dropping every year. So definitely every year. Is 23 and Black still a thing? Yeah, but you you kind of old if you still use that one. <laughs> Well, I don't even the way I shop for <laughs> shoes is a lot different. Now. Like I just if I see it when I'm outside, I buy I buy stuff in bulk. When I'm outside, when I just see a lot of stuff I want, I buy it and I just throw it in the house. What's so crazy? you just buy a lot shop. of shoes in bulk. Yeah, I buy my shoes in bulk. I buy two three pairs of shoes okay. at one time. You a cap. You want to you want to see my receipts? <laughs> no, I'm gonna shut up. All right, chill out then. Well, getting into uh, <laughs> how did you get into like shoe like restoring shoes? Because I know me, I'm the girl that like I will wear my shoes, they will get dirty, and I it, like I dread cleaning my shoes. See, the part of collecting is you hold a sentimental value to your shoes, so you like I can't throw these away, man. I gotta I gotta figure out how to fix it. You know what I mean? And for me, I never threw away nothing, so. Getting into restoring, I was I I was first I was broke a broke college student. I was like, you know what, I gotta. That's a good way to make some money for sure. Yeah, it was a good way to make some money. Nobody wasn't doing it. And, you know, first of all, people laughed at me when I brought up the idea, and then it started becoming an empire in like 2012, 2013, and it got crazy. The whole Chicago was behind me, and then it became out of state, and then it became global. And I just start getting orders all over the world, and uh, like I still do it to this day. Like it's it's a nice income, I say. <laughs> mm, that's what it is. Let me ask you, what's your favorite shoe though, Pop, of like all time, like your holy grail? My favorite shoe. I mean, it's a cliche answer now, but the bre- the bread for for sure. Like, okay, I got bread for probably like five pair of those. I okay. gotta throw. I really got two, one A and one B, the infrared six two. Like that one that I buy every time it come out. So okay, okay, on the Jordan side. So you went to the yeah. Jordan. No doubt. So what are some of the latest sneakers that you've been looking at? I've been into like vintage stuff for the last couple of years. I mean, I've always been collecting vintage sneakers, but lately I copped a Nike Air Raid, something you'll never see every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of trainers, like uh, cross trainers, such as like Diamond Turfs and stuff like that. Uh, older Air Max is like. Air Max Pluses, Air Max 95s. I've been into stuff like that because I feel like I collected every Jordan to almost come out, and now i kind of been on like on a vintage wave lately. So It's good. Digging in the crates. Yeah, but the bag get deep over here. So. Right, right. That's what it is. Take, take, taking it way, way back. That's what I did today. Like I went with the Air Max 1 no-liner. Uh, this shoe came out. 2008 something like that like a a while ago like i just i I had to go and get it in it and just show it because one i knew that wasn't nobody gonna have it all and i know that's what you was thinking with them south beach 
Yeah, but I I wanted to ask you. I'm surprised they still holding up. If you oh, got yeah, 2008, okay. Because I tell you from a restorer's point of view, like they should have been fell apart. Uh, no, it's, it's 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 how you keep them. Like I'm, I've been one of those dudes where you got the shoes in the in the, the plastic containers. Okay. And then sometimes you put the keep the little packets in there. Okay. Keep it, keep nah, it that the, that'll definitely make them last longer for yeah, sure. Yeah, keep them in. Right, the, so y'all yeah, teach me something place. today. Yeah. Like, I'm let's a, go. I'm let's put, go I'm more in depth into that. So I'm a plastic put, container. Look, 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 what's yeah. the look, what's this? Them, them little them little things. The like, like I forgot what the they like little the little salt silicone. Packet, I know something about. like yeah. that. Y'all got y'all got an Amazon link. Y'all can share. Something oh, like the little packets. Yeah, they, they look they like, like salt, salt packets, packets that yeah. come in your <laughs> shoe. Yeah, like don't don't throw that away. Really? Yeah, put it, like, inside your shoe. Oh, I've been throwing those away for yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> That's wow. crazy. Nobody ever told me that. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all take care. Y'all shoes like for children. 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 Y'all be <laughs> holding the secrets, man. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. So. Let's get into that part because I didn't. I did not. I did not know that uh, little tricks like that help your shoes. Uh, you know, saying stay fresh and and hold up. Like, what are some other tips you can give us? Room temperature, room temperature. like very important. Like, if you got a hot room of eighty, ninety degrees, your shoes will likely fall apart faster than you know it. If you keep them in a seventy to sixty room temperature, they'll last longer. Because at the, at the end of the day, shoes have a expiration date, which is about 10 years. After 10 years, they should be falling apart and re- the, the glue getting old, stuff like that. But keeping them in a nice room temperature, they'll definitely last longer. So it add an extra one or two years. Because you know? yeah. at the end of the day, probably it's leather and rubber. You know what I'm saying? At so the end of the day, yeah. It's so leather and rubber and plastic. glue. Glue and yeah, exactly plastic, and so the people are putting it the shoe together. So you wearing it, eventually it's gonna break down. Yeah, right. Like, you ever try to like restore a shoe and it just wouldn't come together for you? It happens, you know. It happens every day. I say, some, I say, a customer, I tell them like, look, this is a gamble. This ain't guarantee. So it's certain shoes that I get that bad, and it's only so much you can do about it. So. Let me ask you, Pop. Have you gotten into like full customization? Like, um, oh, I've been doing that for about. No, no, no. I'm saying like taking off the the soles, soles. I've did it before, like but I, I, I'm more of a painter. So, got you, got you, got you. I mean, that is like going to the extreme, but painting is also extreme too. I can get down with the brush though. So, right. how long you right. could take soles off the shoes and swap them for oh, sure? Soles, soles do it every day, every day. We soles do it with wigs. <laughs> yeah. Word. Chill out. <laughs> you, you you look at it, pop. Like uh, if you have the right tools of it, because um, putting the shoes together essentially is just a a uh, what is it? A sewing machine, mm-hmm. right? You just you get a last. The last shapes the shoe and everything. You put the upper part together. Like my my, my brother said, is you you stitch it as glue. And you putting it together, it just depends on what the sole is you put on it. Like if you wanted to, like it, it might not fit exactly, but you put an Air Max sole possibly on a, a Air Force One upper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You would just have to do a bend it, like wrap it around the last type thing. But it, it can be done. Oh no, you definitely got to experiment a little bit. Yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah. it all over the internet. Yeah, dunks, uh, dunks with Air yeah, Force One. Some people one. put dunks on Air Force yeah. Ones or vice versa. Yeah. Uh, like. It takes some experimenting, but if you know how to get down like that, it definitely could be fun. It can be creative at the same time. But that's the whole point of customization. Yeah, make it your own. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know you could do all that. You learn something new every day. Hey, and now I'm interested. So if I wanted to get like a starter kit for taking care of my shoes, what should I purchase? Oh no, you got AngelusDirect.com. They gonna give you everything, like so. That's like the twenty three is back for uh, take for shoe, shoe. yeah, for yeah. custom, yeah. for beginners. Like they give you whole tutorials. Also yeah. YouTube, I got a million videos on there. No, what, what is it called again? Angela, Angela is back. A- Angela's Direct <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. So, like they got right. just this, the whole starter kit of everything you need as far as fixing and customizing shoes. shoes. So, okay. Oh damn, let's go cool. learn some, learn some. Is that like the uh, little paint stuff? Yeah, it's a paint. It's Do literally like leather paint. So. so I had tried to paint some shoes one time. <laughs> uh, see what happened was <laughs> okay. I skipped the whole tutorial. I just went to grab the paint and just start like, I see you painting can't, on my you can't skip. You feel me? You ain't gonna make no money like that. You gotta. No, nah, I was just trying to do it for myself. Like, <laughs> hey, but you but you don't want to mess up your own shoes, or you gotta. It's a process thing. It it take a while to learn. I ain't learned it overnight. I experimented with my own shoes first, and then I was like, I'm pretty good at this. 
So I started charging people cousins and stuff like that. And then I was like, okay, I got some help. And then it just went crazy. Mm. So, so the Dre. So, real quick, give us a one, two, three, like A, B, and C, of of doing that. The process. Oh, prep. Okay, prep, prep is prep, prep, prep is, is number one. Like, if you don't prep your shoe right, you might as well don't even start painting. Okay. And after that, time. Time is very important. Sometimes. But when you say prepping, what is prepping about? Prepping, acetone, getting all the factory coating off, uh, right. getting all the. Uh, uh, Make, taking the laces off Cleaning the shoe first Like you gotta make sure Everything is prepped right Before you start anything If you don't It's gonna be a disaster The shoe not gonna last Cause it's supposed to be Wearable art right. Or just You fix the shoe And it's supposed to last Okay so I prepped it Then I get creative with it Then what Any finishings to it Oh uh, you got finishes I mean that come That comes with The prepping afterwards That goes into the time You put into the shoe Some projects gonna take Two to Three hours some may take 36 hours. Okay. It depends on really what you're doing, but if you know what you're doing, it's going to definitely, you're going to put the work and time into it, and that's what come with it. Yes. When you say putting in the work and time, how much time? Like I said, it can be it can be eight hours, it can be three hours, it can be 15 to 20 hours. It, do you really, have, de- it really depends on what shoe you're doing. Do you have another job, like a nine to five? Never worked a job a day in my life. Oh, God is good yeah. for you. And hey, you say the name of this website is what again? AngelusDirect.com. <laughs> Tell me, I don't got to work no more. Let me go over there. <laughs> Give me a little starter kit. No, nah, for sure. <laughs> what I'm doing, I ain't doing it right. Um, <laughs> let me ask you this. So, using the Nike brand, and more than likely the top, this uh, major, anybody's top, top five, it would be Nike in, in sure. my generation. But... What is your Mount your Mount Rushmore sneakers using Nike products on? Using Nike products on, like as far as like fixing them. No, no just shoes, your period. Shoe. And I'm gonna like ask, I'm ask they just the same question. Nike. Nike only. Nike yeah. only. Like yo. Nike shoes. What the, the Mount Rushmore Nike shoes? Yeah. Yep. You gotta throw the Jordan brand in there. Then you gotta throw the Air Force One. You can really nah. Throw those, you you trying to be specific? Too broad. Yeah. I need you to, to be specific. specific. Okay, but like cut, breathe specific. Okay. The Pacific colorway of the right. If you talking about the Jordan, the Pacific we color, the number, the number. <laughs> because Mount Rushmore, what is five heads, right? Yeah. Four. So, okay, oh, no. you're five. You're five. You're four. It's only four heads. It's four. It's four. Okay, yeah, I think it's four. Nike. Okay. I never seen Mount Rushmore in real life. <laughs> you I gotta know, do Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I need, to, one of the I need to go to Mount Rushmore. I think, I think the Air Force One is Nike's favorite silhouette. You can just pick a colorway. Okay. The G Fazos? I mean, or, that's just, in Chicago, we call them ones. ones. The younger generation calls them G Fazos, but I gotta throw Air Force Ones up there. Okay. Jordan 3 literally saved the brand. Well, colorway though you just you, you trying to be too black suit, but is you got to go with the OG colorways. And when I mention the Jordan three, it's really them yeah, one or two know, colorways. We should know what you're talking about. Yeah, when you say the, it. right, right, okay, okay. The black cement, white cement, anything right, right. that came out in 1988. Right. So, yeah, um, okay. You have to throw the Air Max line is arguably like the longest line in Nike, so I'm gonna go with the Air Max one. It started the Air Max. Okay. For the last one, I think everybody's favorite, the Jordan 11. That was like solidified mm. Nike and Jordan brand forever. The Concord, to be exact. Like, oh, you can choose the brand, whatever one you pick. Just those was like, okay, okay we, we took over this forever. So. I like how you, you your story behind each shoe, but you killing me just not picking one shoe, man. He's just you very really classic with it. It's you like, can't really yeah. pick a, I mean, story, your story yeah, no, time with the sneakers is on point, though. I'm listening to you so, like, man, 1988. But it's like when you talk about the Jordan 11, there's only two you only talk about. Like, yeah. Like it's only the, if you ain't got Concord or the, or the bread at number one, what Jordan 11 are you talking about? If you talk about the Jordan 3, it's literally the black cement or the white cement. Mm-hmm. Them like the the pedestal of what the Jordan is. brand is like. No other Jordans was like topping them. So, uh, and for the Air Force One, 
Let's pick a colorway. I mean, I think everybody will probably pick the white. I think that's the most iconic. But the Air Force One is like, there's no shoe that Nike has ever done that has more colorways than the Air Force One. Is this true? <laughs> it's none. It's, it's a million of them. They have done the but most collabs, the most colorways, the most. If we get specific, specific, specific. Mount Rushmore, linen in the atmosphere, Air Force One lows. Yeah. So, in the linen in the atmosphere is for the fly dudes, khaki and pink, right? Yeah. That shoe, when it came out, my goodness. First of all, you couldn't even get it, first of all. Uh, when you got it, it was like, man, you tried to keep them. So, those were one of the things that I had to try to fight for to get two, three pair of those. Where you found it at? Uh, we had them, on, we, we had them at... at one of my first stores uh, dealt with a store called Halftime. Okay. Uh, buddy of mine actually went overseas to Atmos mm. and brought back a lot of that product. Brought back linen in the atmosphere, acorns, uh, the original wheat loaves, all the stuff that are coveted like for sneaker collectors now. So that's when I got my first pair, first two pairs. Mm. But then they dropped them again. So that's that. So that would be one of my first for Mount Rushmore. Two. Um, see, I'm an Air Force One dude. The the um, stash high Air Force One one night only, right? One night only. This is when Nike used to really, really get down with the influencers. Y'all, they they flew a lot of us store owners and uh, um, influencers out to New York and had an event for I think it was the 25th, the 20th year Air Force One or something like that. But it was the event was called One Night Only, and in that shoe they gave us this. Um, High top Air Force One with uh, that stash there with the uh, spray paint caps on it, and the shoes were numbered. It was only 150 pair for the 150 people were there, but that's one of my. Hey, so you knew which shoe you had. Oh yeah, yeah let me get that. That's dope. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so let, dope. Let, let me get that. Uh, I would say the OG Air Max 95, the uh, the uh, uh, gray and neon, the original colorway uh, of that, and then just like Dre said, hey, my the uh, cement Jordan Three. That would that would be my uh not the cement Jordan three yeah the Jordan three so two three four and five are my favorite Jordans but that three is the best one the white colorway with the Nike on the back that would be my Mount Rushmore yeah I don't like the new ones with the Jordan on the back yeah, yeah, I like yeah. mine say Nike on the back for sure yeah. okay yeah y'all got some Cody please <laughs> see I'm, mine's is probably gonna be all Air Maxes I'm an Air Max like guy all Air Max. I'm a Air, nah see my Mount Rushmore uh, uh Nike products is gonna be Air Max one Air Max ninety fives. Okay. It's gonna be the 95s. Uh, it's gonna be the Bo Jacksons. Wow. So Bo Jackson is one of my favorite shoes. Um, uh, 95s Bo Jackson. I'm probably gonna do. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm a. I'm a Jordan Four guy. I. Okay. That's. It. I like we the Four. We can agree the Jordan Four is a top five Jordan silhouette of all time. All, all yeah. time. All two, two, three, three, four, and five. five. Two, three, four, and five. I don't, I don't know, know about the two. I, I disagree I, with that one. That's, that's, the cement. that's the OG. Go with the cement. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I got the Bulls. I got the ninety fives. Uh. Ooh, for me, my Mount Rushmore, and this is my favorite. See the 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 ones the G Fazo is cool, but my all time favorite shoe I would have to go with the Barclays, the original joint, the CB joints with the purple, the CB ninety four, yeah, CB ninety four, ninety four, okay, yeah, that was like my favorite, like one of my favorite shoes as a shorty. Get I just got sentimental value with those. Okay, shoes. okay, it's so, me. Like, how do y'all remember all these names of all these shoes? Because Ray, we was into that, man. It's, I just I like that Pink padded leather It got a little Tan on the bottom Do I buy shoes? Them. Yes but That's what you call them? <laughs> yeah I Give cannot remember Pink padded leather With the tan pink on the bottom Pink padded leather With the tan okay. on the bottom Yeah but, but also I hit my West. plug And I be like Yo I just sent a picture Can you get me these? So yeah <laughs> So you from out west? What's so wrong with Aren't you from out west? I'm from South Side by the Lake, my love. Oh, you from? I'm always by myself. Oh, High Park, yeah. thank you. Yeah, High Park, thank What y'all not going to do is come for me. They, uh, on BTL, this BTL, here BTL, I was a little late coming to 290, so y'all ain't, ain't <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, because I told my streets earlier, uh, DCLI out west need more clothes. <laughs> it's not as late. full as this one. <laughs> yeah, so. Not at all. Dre, wait, where, where you from? I'm from over east. Over east. Nobody's yeah. ever from out west. Like, am I the only one out there? Jesus. Uh, I mean, you are out south. <laughs> free. You are out south right now. We are on 87th and the Dan Ryan. Jesus. And, uh, don't nobody want to claim that? Please. Y'all be having shorty dancing on the look curb right here in the middle of the street. 
Mm. She still be out there. Okay. Uh, so let me ask you what they do on Madison. But okay, I'm going to shut up. It's yeah. a whole nother show. I done seen people pull <laughs> mattresses down the street on Madison Pulaski. So I'm be quiet. I done seen <laughs> way worse than that on Madison <laughs> Pulaski. <laughs> while wearing Air Max. <laughs> okay, while wearing Air Max. <laughs> let me ask you this. And it's what has been your favorite memory with the Air Max sneakers? It's one of them shoes you can go to if you got a hundred dollars. I always go to the Air Max when I feel like being cheap because they <laughs> they always available too. So that's what I love about Air Max. It's never a hassle to get them. Hey, somebody cut his mic. It's wow. a community <laughs> shoe. <laughs> it's for the people. It's for the people. Air Max is for the people. And they 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 cross trainers so that you can wear them with anything. You know what I mean? Like some people hoop in them. Some people can you can you, they really run in shoes, but you can do everything in those. So they're versatile. Know? Yeah, they're very that's versatile. A very, that's so. a, a much better adjective. Yeah. 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 I ain't gonna say you can't say Air Max is just for everybody. <laughs> they're <laughs> like, we we bleeping that out. Uh, <laughs> Y'all know uh, the oh they, uh, Let's say they accessible then I don't have to go through A whole hassle Of getting some Affordable Yeah Affordable <laughs> You can tell you from over east You just gonna mess up everything <laughs> <laughs> Yeah that's what east side is doing Affordable Nike if y'all watching this He don't know what he talking about We didn't even know Where we got him from He just came right <laughs> out the street <laughs> Actually this John homie So yeah <laughs> This John homie is crazy <laughs> <laughs> Nah no, for real uh, Okay I got one question your entire collection catches on fire. Wow. What shoe are you saving? I got to go with my Jordan 6 infrareds. I got to like I'm I got five pair. I got to get one of those, so for sure. Like are you you running back in the crib to get them? <laughs> Cuz that's running deep. back in the crib to get <laughs> those. Back Cause that's, that's that's one of the that's shoes deep. that started it for me. So I was deep. like, man, I, I that's why I buy so many when they come out. Like that's just my favorite shoe. Like okay. either that or the bread. Like I'll choose them two shoes over any shoe. Nice. Mm. Well, well, Dre brother, it's been a pleasure having you up here, yes, man. Yes, it's been a thank pleasure. you for coming. You know what I'm saying, based on few uh, how you answer a few questions, you probably won't be back, but I still love you. <laughs> I'm following you on Instagram. We appreciate you, that. We appreciate you, man. Uh, Showing sure, love. Sure, for sure. Make sure y'all follow him on all social media, Dre the Shoe Guy, man, and hit him up for services. And don't leave because yes, I got a trunk of shoes that need restoring. So we gonna talk. I Shout agree. out to Dre. Shout out to Dre, man. I, I like Dre, man. Dre was cool. Good. Yeah, I got. He, he kind of dissed the Air Max a little bit, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. I got amnesia. I don't oh, know okay, okay. About. He mm. was trying to say that everybody, the everybody loves Air Max. That it was no, he said people. Air Max is a great sneaker. Yes, and that amazing sneaker. It's amazing sneaker. So when the Air Max, you know what I'm saying, DN come out next week, make sure y'all go copy it. Right. You know, spend your hundred, two hundred, three hundred, because it, it's okay. just it's just worth it. That's what he said. Go ahead and get the go ahead and get the multiple pair for your pair. kids, for your baby daddies, baby mama. How many colorways is it coming in? It's like we got two. Okay. It's going to at least with two. I like that purple one. Yeah, that's what I got. Go on here, Cody. They look comfortable. They are. They are very comfortable. You're an Air Max guy. You lo you love Air Max. I love it. See, fun fact about me, uh, I really don't like, like, the only Nikes that I really rock with is, like, like the Air Maxes, the Bo Jacksons, the Harachis, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really like... Uh, like the old school Harajis, not like the like the new ones. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Rodney's, the Air Darwin's, shoes like that. Like I like those type of sneakers, like '90s sneakers. I don't really rock with the like Jordans. How do you Jordan cover ways? Ain't my thing. So gotcha. Air Maxes is like like Bree said, is right on my alley. So I love Air Maxes. Oh, Air Maxes mean a lot to me. Air Max. Um, I'm gonna say if I had to have a word for like solidified. Me in the sneaker culture. Mm -hmm. That was the first shoe that I've ever collaborated with with Nike. Where I did a fly Air Max, uh, fly Air Max ninety, and so that was a major thing for me to have my own shoe and not be an athlete. What did that shoe look like? Uh, it's white, red, and gray. Mm -hmm. And you know where the Air Max the plate is on the back of the shoe, uh, where it says Nike Air. It's just the fly logo. Oh, that's dope. Right, it was friends and family. It was only seventy five pair. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this. Do you, you you still got the plug to to, to bring it back? <laughs> uh that'll be a negative. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, so can Dre customize? Hey Dre, you know how to customize? Uh, 
I would definitely get it down. Yeah. Yeah, the drink. I, I'm just saying, well, I could just find somebody that got some drink, but that's dope. I would love to have that sneaker. Thanks, sure, man. Yeah. Yep. Sure. I know that's a sneaker. But y'all ready for our next guest? Let's do it. Y'all ready? Yeah, next guest. He hail from Chicago. Um He hail. I was, I was watching the, the Kings of Comedy the other day. And you know how that's how they oh, be doing so the everybody intro. But since that wasn't cool, I'm going to just bring them up. Asar. You not funny. <laughs> give it up for Asar, y'all. Asar. Give it up. Give y'all it make up. some noise for Asar. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, watch yourself now. <laughs> hey, that was like a scary okay. What up, boy? <laughs> what's good? What's good? I'm like, boy, get up. What are you doing? <laughs> Asar, what up? How you feeling? Fault. Let me get this from you. You been out here? Yeah. Moving Ruling. Around. Yeah. Ruling Chicago, dropping some hot music. I appreciate How's it. How's it feel? It's been dope. Um, it's been dope to speak to Mike, brother. For sure. <laughs> it's been dope uh, just to be able to, to share my art and for people to appreciate it the way they have been because we put a lot of time and effort into it. So it's been a great time. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah. You're like hands down probably one of the... Uh, the most talented Talented artists That we have In the city right now um, And that's just to see Your growth And something Like when I first met you Three years ago And just seeing like Like Just seeing Sell out shows And like People knowing the words To like All your Like saying your lyrics People randomly coming up to me Like yo y'all, Why y'all ain't rocking with a star or Why a star not on y'all list <laughs> Like just to see that growth <laughs> That growth in you Is just crazy to me And I think a while back, one, didn't Timberland replay your music like twice? For sure, he did. It's yeah. actually crazy. Uh, they have this, he has this thing he does on TikTok where you can submit music for him to just kind of review, tell you what he think. Um, and the first time I submitted the music and he was like head over heels on it. It was dope. I came back like two weeks later and just was scrolling through TikTok and he was on live again. And as I'm scrolling, I see he's on live and I listen I was like, oh, he's playing this as the intro this oh, time. Nice. Like, oh, so he really liked the, it. Yeah, he really rocked right. the song. So right. that that was a really, really dope experience. Yeah. That's amazing. Timbaland. Timbaland. OG. Timbaland. Crazy. Yeah, the OG. It's crazy. If, if, if I asked you, probably, like, who inspired your style of music? Or what is your inspiration on the whole in that music lane? Yeah. Um, I think I pulled from a few different places. Uh, first and foremost, I think my biggest inspiration actually came from the gospel because growing up, that's all I was allowed to listen to. Well, <laughs> me too. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. Um, but my earliest kind of introduction to hip hop came via like Kanye, Talib Kweli, mm -hmm. Common. Common is my favorite rapper still to current day. That's good. Um, OG. And as I kind of developed my my own taste in music, we move on to like the Coles, the Kendricks. Okay. Um, just people who I think pull from like soul um, and have like a real deep meaning to their music. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I get that. I get mm -hmm. that. So you you coming from that the the um, a gospel side mm -hmm. is you're not a gospel rapper. Why didn't you just go straight there? For sure. Uh, I think gospel rap is like very niche and also okay. not it's very necessarily. Niche. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not my bag. I feel like um, I just speak from my perspective of my life. Gotcha. You know? uh, I think my influences definitely shine through. Me being Christian, like you hear yeah. those yeah. those uh, influences in my music, but definitely right. not like strictly gospel rap. Gotcha. Because gotcha. gotcha. you don't curse on none of your records, right? Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't know. That's, good. That's, that's different. That's That stands out. No. No murder, murder, kill, kill. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't got one of those in my bag. Right, that's good. Yeah. Have you ever that's felt, good. like, pressured a little bit to be like, maybe I should switch it up to kind of, like, not even get ahead, but just kind of be more mainstream, get with the wave or get with the times. It's like music keeps changing. Yeah. Um, I won't say that I've ever felt like I've had to, but I have uh, felt that people have wanted me to, right? Um, but in addition to just me being grounded in my own belief in myself and my faith, et cetera, uh, one of the biggest affirmations for me early on in my career was when I worked with Wyclef Jean. Um, Wyclef was, has been a mentor of mine for a long time. And when we first got introduced, um, there was a song that he wanted me on for his album. And when he originally sent it, it was cursing on it. With me in collaboration, any collaboration I do, I don't want cursing on it mm. um, because I don't curse either. And I don't think it depicts like my artistry. 
So having to tell Wyclef John at that time, like, hey, I'm not comfortable with this. Did you pray before you told Of Wyclef? course like, I did. What? Of <laughs> course I did. And, and I wasn't comfortable with it. I didn't want to do it because it was a big opportunity. But it was like, you stand for something, you fall for anything. So if this is making you uncomfortable, you say something. I said something to him. And there was no, like, restraint. He was like, I feel you. I'll change it. My father was a preacher. Like, that's where my name comes from, blah, blah, blah. And just being able to do that early on made it so that I don't ever have a problem sticking to that. Sticking to that. Well, yeah. well, I'm, I'm, well, what kind of curse words was these? These was like, like, why Clef John was, <laughs> what was he on? He was, nah. he was MFing it and, no, you know, it, it like, wasn't why Clef John? Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't even nothing too crazy. Oh, okay, okay. That's not even Wyclef's bag. But right. it was there and okay. I still felt like I had to say something. No doubt. So if the curse word if it's one of the curse words that's in the Bible, do you still consider it a curse <laughs> word? <laughs> I do, because it's all about context and how you're using it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, okay. I do love that you out here telling women not today rappers. Telling people the truth. And I'm still waiting on my hat. Yeah, yeah. I, I got you. Okay, thank I got you. you. You just put in another order too. I thank got you. you. So where did this Don't Day Rappers movement come from? Um I felt like, you know, if I have this platform, right, where people are listening to me, I feel like I should spread say, the say truth. Something. Spread the truth. You know truth. what I'm saying? <laughs> spread spread a message that I feel like the world should hear. <laughs> um and so that's how Don't Day Rappers came about. It was a song on my album that I kind of made as like satire in some ways. Um, but I just thought it was very funny also. Uh, You're a troll. <laughs> yeah, that's my bag. Yeah. It's like, uh, duh, I am a rapper. Uh, right. I love it, though. So, it. So, so since we're talking about you, since we know you're going to spread the truth, uh -huh. what's, your, what's the truth about Nike and Air Max sneakers? Um, mm. Air Maxes are very versatile. Like, I think there's an Air Max for everybody, depending on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, I think they fit a whole wide range of demographics, and you can really get fresh in them. Like, I know my favorite, uh, my favorite, am I, am I skipping ahead? No, do your thing. Okay, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite Air Max personally um, have always been like the Air Max 95s, or uh, more recently the Air Max Plus. I had a pair of black and gold Air Max Plus that somebody actually stole from me on a trip to New York. They what? stole them? They stole them. That's crazy. I, I ain't going to put nobody on blast, but I left them. Look, he like, that's a sad story. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My heart. <laughs> I left them. Not, not off your crib. feet or nothing no, like no, that. No, 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 no. Right, right, right. No. No. <laughs> but right. You weren't robbed. No, no, no. Not, not like that. <laughs> right, right, right. I left them at a homie's crib and then they Never were saw them again. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm, so, that's understood. Tough. But yeah. Sad that's story. still your homie. What, what's uh, the next question? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All I need is to know. Mm -hmm. um, how how does uh, sneakers and music coexist together? Um, That's a great question. I think that they've always kind of been in tandem because they're both ways of expression. Like mm -hmm. fashion and music have always been, especially in like black culture, the ways that we express ourselves. Um, and I think that your shoes make a statement. You know what I'm saying? Shoes say everything. Yeah. Because before we had cars, we had shoes. That's real. <laughs> 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 my line. That's the truth. That's, though. Real. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. No, I like that, though. Because yeah. it's like, I know for me, like, if I'm leaving out my house and I know that my shoe's not right or mm -hmm. I feel like my shoe's a little off, I feel like my entire day is off. That's real. Man. And I feel like people looking at me like, why she with it? <laughs> <laughs> you just throw off the whole vibe. Mm -hmm. since, since you said that, Bri, I want to ask you a question. Uh -oh. Is ask it me? Yeah. Oh, okay. you, this is about men and how women look at men's shoes first. Yeah. And, and ladies <laughs> how out did here, I is, that, know this? Is, is that a real thing? Like, can the ladies just chime in? Is that like a real thing? If like, I see a guy, the first thing I'm going to look at are your shoes. Mm. Unless, I, unless you're like sitting at a table and I absolutely can't see your shoes. Mm. But so okay, that's a good that's a good question. Good question. So if you see somebody and they have like some dirty Air Max, what you gonna say? Or what your what's your first thought? You just coming from the gym, hopefully. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> you coming from some place okay. that requires you to put on the shoes that you found in the back of your closet. Gotcha. Yeah, hopefully so it, it's, I'm. I'm just praying that it's on accident. 
Not on purpose. Okay. So let me ask you this. Because right? no. Air Max is an expensive sneaker, right? It's an expensive sneaker. So it has it do it ever cross your mind like damn, he must got a little paper that he letting us a two hundred dollar sneaker, he just like he doing whatever in it, like he like he, it's working out in it, it's dirty. Like this is just a, this is shooting him to do whatever. He That's what I just said. Yeah. I said if I see you in it, I'm gonna assume like either you coming from the gym, maybe you helped your mama move earlier today, <laughs> maybe you was running from the cops. Like I don't know. Oh, okay. Like you doing something that requires some strenuous activity so right. that your shoe because your shoes look the way that do. Gotcha. That's Hard my first man. thought. But then I'm gonna have to get to know you. And if I see you another day and you still got them shoes on, baby, we got a problem. Right. Okay. Okay. So then let me ask you this. I'm gonna ask the whole panel this since we're talking about what how shoes, you know what what does black Air Force One energy mean to y'all? I I was about to it say is, something. I, I, I think that's just some new made up whatever type that. I mean a fresh pair of ones, black, whatever, white, whatever. I I rock a fresh pair of ones. The the better leather ones, I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I saw on TikTok um, this lady. I don't know if y'all know that lady that um, she got her baby from a random man in Atlanta okay. on TikTok. Yeah, her child. Her child. She, she had a random child. Yeah, she yeah. called it because the baby daddy went ghost and uh, the baby okay. daddy yeah, lived yeah, in Atlanta. Yeah, give us backstory. Right. Yeah, so she went viral on TikTok <laughs> <laughs> because she had uh, she had a baby by a man that stayed in Atlanta, but he don't talk to her. He went ghost. So she okay. be like, I got this baby from a random man in Atlanta. But yeah, it's funny. Y'all should go check it out. She's okay, going viral. Go support that, that lady. Baby. I had a random baby in Atlanta. <laughs> no, not the baby. Okay. Um, but <laughs> she's she bought her baby a pair of all black Air Force Ones because she said we standing on business. And Boom. I believe like if you wear a pair of all black Air Force Ones, you about to like stand on business. Okay. You about to go get what's yours. That man owe you some money, you finna go chase him down the street. Okay. Well, they get that. So is, does that mean the same thing if you had some all black Air Max? Because they got all black Air Max. Which is hard too. I remember some of my favorite shoes, all some black ninety fives. Air Max hard. give a little bit more fashion to me. Okay. When they all black. Okay. Over black Air Force Ones. Okay. I can I can see that. Black I Air Force Ones, I'm standing on business. Okay. I feel like it's propaganda. <laughs> personally, <laughs> personally, I know when I was when I was a shorty, we started the school year off with a fresh pair of white and a fresh pair of black ones at the beginning of <laughs> every school year. That, that was the kid. That shoes. was the kid. You know what I'm saying? Right. And don't mess them up because right. once you mess them up, that's it. You ain't getting right. another pair. Because the white ones was your weekend shoes for sure. Exactly. Right. right. You go right. to the little parties. You go yeah, to right. the rink. You feel um, me? She, 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 said, she said the ring, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> the ring. She said the ring. So we speaking on. So we speaking on. You know what I'm saying? The white ones. Um. Have you guys ever tried to clean your white ones when they got dirty and try to rock them? Of course. Of course. Yes. <laughs> of course. What? Of course. So how many? Like you know, nowadays they say you only can wear them twice. Three times is a stretch. How many times do you wear your white little top of those ones? I'm fortunate enough. God has blessed me enough to be able to go buy a new pair of Air Force Ones when I need to. <laughs> so I probably get like a good maybe, I, I wouldn't say two or three, like maybe like 10, 11. But once the shoestrings get dirty and so I'm like, yeah, no, I got to go. But Air Force Ones are like my favorite festival shoe. Wow. White Air Force One. Yeah. Okay. To, you said to festivals? Yeah. Right. She, oh, you're brave. She brave. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> wow. like, I, feel, I just, I, I don't know. Every time I go to a festival, I wear all white Air Force Ones. So um, but a lot of times, they don't have to be brand new. I don't like go to the store and then go straight to the festival. I was going to say, yeah, you brave sure. if you do yeah. something like that. No, I don't spend my money to go to the festival with brand new Air Force Ones. You just throwing money away. <laughs> <laughs> throwing it away. Yeah. So what's y'all favorite shoe to run the errands in? And before we answer that question, panel, Nike Air Max DN. Make sure you know where we at. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your favorite question? What's your favorite shooter right here? Um, I'm gonna say like some uh, some older those Air Max that, sh- that Bree said that was probably in the closet. Yeah, you know, kind of just kind of put them on. Sometimes you step on the back, depending on how wild you, the, the really the, the mood you're in. Yeah, for sure. Honestly, I run errands in my pandas. That's probably my favorite shoe right now, my pandas. I've been loving on my pandas for a while. Okay. That's real. For me, it's probably literally the dunks I have on right now. Uh, 
I know a lot of people the the thing now is the low top joints. I really love high top dunks. Yeah. Yeah. So it's probably these. Okay. Okay. Me, it would probably be Vapor Max or I'm going to say 95s cuz I think they they comfortable to me and then I can I could throw them on and it still had a fashion look to it. So them was 95s. You love them 95. Nike, can we get him a pair of 95s? <laughs> That's it. 95s okay. is my favorite shoe. I have been worn out. That's crazy. I know Dre was earlier was saying he's from the East Side. So I went to school on the East Side for one year. I went to Bowen High School. Um rough. You got uh, beat up. Never that. Come on now. <laughs> Can't even say that with confidence. <laughs> um, but I went to school over there for a year, my senior year. And every day I came to school with a different pair of 95s. And nobody in the school knew what Air Max 95s was. Like, they was they was trying to joke, like, oh, man, what you, you don't even know. Look at him, what type of shoes he got on. And that let me further know, and this is just a shameless plug, that the low end is the best part of Chicago. <laughs> Oh, I, cut, I, the, I cut the state. We're done here. <laughs> fashion and the way we just view things and how we, like, we were just so light years ahead of everybody. At all ends. Even the when I went end? to college at Carbondale, like, I, that's my first year, all I had on was 95s and, like, Bo Jackson's, and everybody was like, what's those? Like, I remember, because Jordan's was whatever, right? I had the uh, the playoff joints. Those were some of my favorite joints, too. But I remember I gave somebody those to go hoop in. Like, but my my ninety fives and like my Air Max ones, like so I'm rocking those. No, nah, you can't you can't take this. But I gave my because you know when we come up, you had some Jordans. When a new one come out, they you couldn't wear the old ones no more. So I come from that culture. Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that was like that was like my culture. So when I got to college, like I was just giving people my shoes. Like, yeah, I can go hooping these. Like. I, they old. I can't wear no old Aqua Ace. I probably regret that to this day. But yeah, I'm about to let you do. I, mean, I had an Aqua Ace to play <laughs> off. I had right. all the OG joints. But nah, I think my favorite shoe to just go out there is the MX95. That's probably my favorite shoe of all time, the MX95. Okay. But we got we got time for one more question. Yeah. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Okay. So, what does your 2024 look like, man? Um, just a lot of building. Um, I think we are focused on pushing this album that I dropped toward the end of last year called mm -hmm. I Now Know. Uh, incredible project. We got some shows coming for it. Uh, some experimental joints that I think are going to be real fun for the city. What honestly. you mean by experimental? Um, I'm looking to build worlds with everything that I do, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I think the project in itself caught a really, really great buzz around it. I think the show should encapsulate the project in a way that you can't experience it just by listening to it. So... That's bringing people into the world and the space that I was in while I was creating it. I think it's going to be very theatric. Uh, I want to bring some special guests out. Okay. Um, Collaboration, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just going to be a really dope time. I'm very excited for that's it. That's what's up. Yeah. And make sure y'all come out April 12th. April 12th. Indeed. He's doing a show with this young man. Right. Yes, what's, April Chicago State? what's April 12th? Chicago State. Chicago State uh, having a show over there. It's a free show, actually. Um I'm really excited about that. I'm going to have my band with me. Uh, so we're going to be doing a lot of songs from the album just as like a live set. Dope. It's going to be fire. I'm hosting. Yeah. Shout, shout out to yeah. Chicago State, man. <laughs> yeah. Doing something big. Right, right, right. Okay. So, man, we're going we, we bringing this broadcast to a close, man. I enjoy my time I spend with you guys up here today, man. Hey, man, I, th I thank y'all for having me, man. I love uh, this. Can we do this every week? <laughs> Mike, 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 and them. Y'all could just leave the stage up. <laughs> right, I'll right. bring the chairs back up right. there. Yeah. Kim, nah, these Kim, leather Kim, nice, Kim, we man. I know, Kim? I know we ain't returning these. Kim. These going somewhere. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but now, nah, man, shout out to Detail Line, Nike Air Max, man. Everybody, give them a round of applause, man, for yeah. putting this together. Man. Yes, thank yeah. y'all. And make sure y'all follow the Detail Line, Detail Lifestyle, Detail Line Radio. What's the word? Asar was Asar music. Asar music. Be specific. Dave Jeff D A V E J E W -E F. Okay. And make sure y'all locked in for the, the for the next week <laughs> for all these dope events that DTL is putting on for Chicago. Just putting on the city with Nike and with Air Max. And make sure when you drop, make sure y'all go cop these. Like what Wayne say, uh, feet out the window. You ain't got these on. <laughs> I only got these. I'm the only one with them. Because Air Max Day is what, Pop? Three twenty six. Three twenty six. Three twenty six. March twenty six. We yep. celebrating. 
I like that we can turn up for Air Maxes. That's dope. That's lit. That's lit. <laughs> Shout out to What's the Word and DTLI. Yes. And we out. Love.